So one of the main challenges uh, facing students during all delivery is to ensure that students are engaged in class. And one of the research established ways of actually ensuring student engagement is to do classroom polling. But the downside of that is uh, uh, yeah, that you really don't know whether, uh, because if you want to make a poll brand new for each and every class, it's going to be a difficult task. So I'm going to teach you how to use Zoom and Canvas to reuse a generic poll so that you can easily establish a, co a poll in each one of your classes so that's the purpose of this video uh, so yep and uh, i hope you will find it useful thank you so my plan is to uh, create a video uh, that will show an easy way for math professors to create uh, polling questions uh, in zoom okay so the first thing i'm going to do is to show you how to create a poll okay so i uh, just open excel microsoft excel right and then what you should do is you should create your questions in a specific format so what i do is uh, my first uh, uh, row has four things title question name questions questions name questions and answers okay so in the first uh, column I put the name to uh, my poll polling one and uh, the second row actually I I put the name of the question so let's make it a little bigger so that you can see so the answer to question one is so I noted that I keep my questions generic so that I can use this over and over again uh, without actually uh, telling what the question is so that's part of the strategy and the next column is I'm going to tell whether the question is a single answer question or a multiple answer question so this is going to be a single answer question so I'm going to put single otherwise I'm going to put multiple and then you go to the next row right and then start the next column so every time I start a new row I go to uh, the immediate next column right okay so I go to the next column and there I put the answers the answers are a b c d and e okay so so now you know the format so the title question name questions answers and then the name of the poll and the name of the question and with a single or multiple and then the answer so it has to be in the specific format because eventually we are going to import it into canvas and into the poll okay so now once I create that I'm going to save this right and I should not save this as a as a, a Excel file. Remember, I need to save this as a CSV file. CSV means uh, comma separated comma separated value format. CSV format dot CSV, and I'm going to save it uh, save it anywhere you want on your hard disk. Okay, so yeah, so I'm going to I already have it. So when I replaced it, right. <clears throat> So that's the first part, and that's how you created the, a poll. So I just created a single question here, right? I can create many questions if I like. Question one, two, three, but I created a generic question one. So after creating uh, the CSV file with the poll question, the next thing I want to do is to show uh, that I need to accompany that generic question by an actual question. So what I do is uh, for each, each one of my classes, right, I have three multiple choice questions ready and I always call them one, two, three and uh, you can have any amount. But uh, so for this video's purpose, I just created one one question so here is a sample question integration by parts so I just put the number as one because remember in the poll I called it question one okay so and this is number one and the question is this uh, evaluate and then there are my I again remember in the poll that I created I gave five answers so I need to have five answers so the five answers are this so this is going to accompany my poll So now that I've created my poll, it's time to include that in Zoom, in Canvas. So I go to my uh, Canvas page for my course. So in this case, it's Calculus 2. 
and then um, I go down to the zoom and when I click on the zoom right I get this so the first thing to do would be before you include the poll you need to schedule a new meeting so I'm going to quickly schedule a meeting so I'm going to uh, just uh, put some title and then maybe I'm going to put uh, a future date uh, uh, so um, and uh, my class time is 11 o'clock so I'm gonna put uh, my class time as 11 o'clock right and uh, and for one hour and then um, I'm gonna go down and then uh, I'm gonna save the meeting I'm just not going to uh, put anything right I'm, uh, so and then you know after I save the meeting you will notice that I get another thing at the bottom it's called poll you can import polls to this meeting through importing the csv files so it actually tells you you know remember that template that i showed you earlier with the fold you can download the template if you want right and then a sample template but what i'm going to do now it needs to import the csv file that we just created okay so i'm going to go to import and then i'm going to go and uh, go to the Fundamental meeting and then uh, take the sample poll that I created, right? The CSV file that we created, and I'm going to open that. Okay, so now it says that actually you can, uh, it says that uh, so uh, the name of the poll that I gave was polling one, and the answer to that uh, question one is that. Okay, so, so now I have actually successfully imported, and the five answers that I gave are here. So uh, now actually I can uh, start the meeting right if I want to and the poll will be included in the meeting. So let me go ahead and start the meeting. Hi so I'm now I just now started uh, the zoom meeting that I created in canvas with the poll included now uh, imported as the CSV file. And now uh, I'm just imagining that I'm in a real class, except that I have uh, muted my video and my mic. Uh, so uh, when I do this in a regular class, remember that I have, uh, I told you that I have a, a multiple choice question sheet to accompany my poll. So the first thing that I do is um, I share that uh, document, the word document with my students. So let's do that now. So this is the word document, so let's show that. So when I share that word document, the, the students can see this and I tell, well guys, it's time to practice your integration by parts technique. So I want you all to attend this problem so you can give this problem to students using, uh, you know, breakaway groups or as individual students and maybe give them about five minutes to do the problem. Okay, so all right, and then what I do is after the five minutes are up, okay, I would then go to polls, right? Okay, and then click on polls, and then you will see the question. And remember now, uh, question one is mapped to our generic question one in the poll, okay? So uh, you will see, and the students get to answer this, but not yet. I need to launch the polling. So I launch the polling, and now the students can actually answer right uh, whether it's a b or c d or e and uh, so right now i don't see anything because there's nobody answering at the other end but when they answer they will you will see uh, what percentage of students answer uh, and then i can end the polling and finally i can actually share the results and where they will show how many students uh, when i do that they will show how many students answered a how many students answered b uh, how many students answered C, how many students answered D, how many students answered E as a nice uh, bar chart, okay. And then, uh, and then, I mean, that's it. That's, uh, so I taught you how to create a generic poll using uh, a, uh, a CSV sheet and then I showed you how to import that in a in canvas and then uh, and show, I showed you how to inc inc include that in a, uh, a can a Zoom meeting via canvas so why is it this short because usually math uh, questions have a lot of equations and a lot of formulas that really it's a pain in the neck to create a poll 
from scratch every time. But uh, for us, there are plenty of multiple choice questions, databases which are available freely to professors uh, in the web, as well as your textbook uh, provider will probably offer a lot of clicker questions or you know exam question banks where you can readily use those questions to create your uh, like a small worksheet. I usually give three questions right per class, but the important thing is uh, I don't have to create a poll every time. I teach the class because if I'm giving three questions, one, two, three, then the poll will have three generic questions which I can use over and over and over again. And and that is, I think, uh, an easy way that the math professors can uh, actually now uh, use this polling facility in Zoom and keep their students engaged right, during the class. Thank you for watching.